Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak an iPhone 6S on iOS 14.3. Now the way that I'm using in this video is the easiest way I've found, however you will need a computer. For the operating system on the computer, you'll need either a macOS physical computer or a virtual machine, or this software is available on Linux. For this video, I'll be using the software on a physical macOS machine, however if you want to figure out how to use it on a Linux machine, by all means go ahead, it should work the same. The jailbreak we'll be using is called CheckRain, and it's a jailbreak for the iPhone 5S through the iPhone 10, iOS 12 and up. However, I believe that the 6S, which has the A9 chip, is the only one that supports 14.3. So just some precautionary things to do before you actually start this jailbreak. Go into settings and make sure that you have Find My iPhone turned off. In this case, I just reset this iPhone, so there's no Apple ID, so we're good on that end. The next thing to do is go to Touch ID and Passcode and turn off the Touch ID and your passcode. They suggest doing these two things on their website, so if you don't want to break your phone, I highly suggest doing those things. However, I'm not sure what will happen if you don't do those things. Before we begin, I would like to note that the developers of CheckRain nor I are responsible for any permanent damage you do to your phone. So everything you do from this point on is on you. First thing that we need to do is of course connect our iPhone 6s, our computer, through a lightning cable. We can go ahead and go into Finder, or of course iTunes, to make sure that the phone is detected. We need to have the phone trusted on our computer. So we'll go ahead and click Trust, and then go ahead and click Trust on the phone itself. Once we do that, we should have access into our iPhone's little home screen in the Finder. Now we can go ahead and head over to the CheckRain website, which is checkray.in, and we can go ahead and click Get the Beta Now. Since it already detected my operating system, we can go ahead and just download the macOS 0.12.2 beta. Of course, as I said earlier, there are all kinds of different downloads, including Linux and macOS. Make sure you read over these change notes just to make sure that you have everything done. For example, A7 devices don't work on the Linux version, and CheckRain doesn't work on Apple Silicon Macs, so make sure you know that. The next thing to do is open up the CheckRain beta DMG file. From there, it'll just simply open up. Now here, we can either move this over to our applications, or just go ahead and run it in the DMG. I'm just going to go ahead and run it in the DMG. Now if you see this, this isn't malware. What we have to do is open up System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, and then click Open Anyway, where it says CheckRain. From here, we can go ahead and click Open, and here, we see the CheckRain home screen. Make sure it detects the iPhone 6S in iOS 14.3, and then we can go ahead and click Start. Now before we click start, like I said, you're responsible for any damage that may occur to your device, and I highly recommend making a backup. I've already made a backup of my phone, so we're good to go. We can go ahead and click start. Now we have to put our phone into DFU mode. There will be a tutorial on how to do this, so we're going to go ahead and click next. CheckRain is going to put our iPhone into recovery mode. This screen is recovery mode. Now let's click start on CheckRain. Now we have to hold the side and home buttons together and now release the side button, but keep holding the home button for 10 seconds. CheckRain is now installing the jailbreak and rebooting our iPhone. As we can see here, there's a lot of cool scripts running on our phone. This, while it may seem intimidating, is completely normal and this is expected. CheckRain says that the jailbreak is done, so we can go ahead and click done. Now you'll notice that there's no Cydia on our home screen after our iPhone rebooted. What does this mean? Well, we'll notice a new app called CheckRain on our home screen. After the first boot, if you don't see CheckRain, just go ahead and go through a few apps, just randomly open stuff, and then go back to CheckRain. If you still don't have CheckRain after that, go ahead and restart your device. If that doesn't work, go ahead and try running the jailbreak again. Now we can open up the CheckRain app and install Cydia. This is how we get Cydia on our device. The CheckRain loader will download the base system for Cydia and install Cydia onto our iPhone 6s. The iPhone will automatically exit us out of CheckRain where we can open Cydia. Cydia is upgrade where we can actually use stuff. So personally, I recommend doing a complete upgrade of Cydia just to make sure you're on the latest version and, you know, the latest stuff. When the update is complete, we can go ahead and click Restart Springboard. This won't restart our entire iPhone, this will just restart the springboard. Once our iPhone vibrates and we're back on the home screen, we can go ahead and hit the Home button and reopen Cydia. We've successfully jailbroken our iPhone 6S on iOS 12.13. As we can see, this is an iPhone 6S, iPhone 8,1, on iOS 14.3. So we've successfully jailbroken an iPhone 6S on iOS 14.3, which is the latest signed version of iOS that there is. I'm still not sure how Apple hasn't patched this yet, but we can download anything that's compatible with a 64-bit version of iOS. 
you can go ahead and add your own sources, look through the existing sources, buy some themes, generally anything you want. You now have free reign over your device with Cydia. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of various technology videos and device restorations. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.